right? The three persons are inseparable and in union with, in, as one, therefore they are one. They're inseparable? Yes. So they share the same mind? Yes. Okay, so when, when God the Father said, this is my son in whom I'm well pleased, what center of consciousness was you're saying was that the mind of the son or the, the mind of the father beautiful so that there is distinctive subsistent relations between the father and the son that is not identifying how many minds the two persons possess rather i'm going to give you i'm going to give you scripture from john 5 19. what does john 5 19 say do you ask i do nothing of my own accord i do everything that i see the father doing which means he appeals to the one mind of the trinity but can you say a hey, hold on hold on hold on can you hold on listen 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 you're talking about minds i'm bringing hold on listen listen you are not the controller of this conversation listen 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 bro you, yes i am now you're not the controller of this conversation. Because you're not answering me. Listen, Lamin, don't no, interrupt me. No, don't no, interrupt no, me. No, no, they say that. Lamin, the right, you're sharing mind. the bed with the Unitarian. The Relax. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit share the same mind. Yes. Okay? One second. Now, when the Father is saying, This is my Son, yes. in whom I'm well pleased. Yes. Whose mind is saying that? Yes. What center of consciousness is, is speaking? Yeah. So this is my son. In so Lord, beautiful, beautiful. So yeah, yeah, listen, yeah, listen. Yeah. So I'm gonna, Who's I'm gonna answer it? your question. Okay. So there is one mind in the Trinity. That mind is grounded and indexed to nature. So if the three persons possess one nature, there is one mind in the Trinity. Now I can back this up with a scripture. Now as a Christian, you would take the holistic reading of the Bible, would you not? I, I, I believe. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You are not the controller are of. Ask, ask are, you the are you the controller of this conversation? Are you the controller of this conversation? Or did everyone ask? Everyone understand my yes, question? Yes, we understood. Yeah, yeah. Now, if you're appealing to the audience. If you're appealing to the audience, I'm appealing to the camera. So ladies and gentlemen, the Muslims are in bed with the Unitarians, even though the Unitarians would condemn their Muhammad. That's point one. Point two, right? Point two, listen, don't appeal to them, I appeal to the camera. So listen, you are not the controller of this conversation. Okay, beautiful. So let me respond. So let me, yes. Now, people are listening. Yes. Now I've asked. I'm going to ask one more time. Yes. It's very clear. Yes. They said the Father and the Son share the same mind. Now, when God says, "This is my Son, in whom I'm well pleased." Yes. In order to speak, that comes from a mind, right? Yeah. Okay. So whose mind was speaking there? Okay. Beautiful. So we understand. Let the lady uh, I'm answering. Answering. Yes. When you respond. So okay. So you only requested this. So I'm not going to intentionally dumb it down. That's point one. Point two. God does not possess knowledge propositionally. So he would not possess the proposition that the father loves the son. Rather, he would possess the understanding of that statement, but not in a proposition. That's point one. Point two, mind is indexed to nature. The three persons possess one mind. Thus, this piece of knowledge, if it's not propositional, is substantiated in the one mind of the Trinity. Now, I'm moving the conversation, no, but it's staying on has, the topic. Has has anyone I am, okay, so if he's appealing to the audience, I'm appealing to the camera. Listen. Let us understand it. We want to understand I am what answering. you're saying. I am answering the question. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I said the three persons possess that one mind. No, no, okay. You affirming what you believe is not answering yes, the question. Yes, it is, it is. I know you believe yes. that they share the same mind, okay? Yes. But you repeating that is not answering the question. That, that, that piece second, of knowledge is indexed second, to the mind of the Trinity. One second, brother. You're saying they share the same mind. Yes. If I say to Lamin, oh, Lamin, I am well In pleased. With the one Muslims. second, I am well pleased with you. That's not Lamin's mind speaking is it it's my mind so if the father is saying this is my son in whom i'm well pleased with you cannot tell me they're sharing the same mind. do you want me to like scratch it over do you understand does everyone understand okay beautiful does everyone understand? okay so, so please okay. address that okay beautiful question, oh please uh, I've turned this off by accident, sorry. Did you do understand my question? I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, God, okay, okay. 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 Let, hold on, on. If you're appealing to the audience, if we're appealing to the audience, I'm going to speak over you. So let me respond because you were initially doing that and I reciprocate the courtesy in the discussion. So if you appeal to the audience, I appeal to the camera. And you, I expect you to do the same if I'm doing it. So. I said the, the, we do not accept that God possesses knowledge propositionally. So 
I would not affirm. Second, hold on. What, what do you mean? God does not what, possess, possess knowledge, knowledge proposition. Write that down. Propositions would be statements. So God does not possess knowledge like how humans would possess knowledge propositionally. So for example, the statement that the Father loves the Son to which he sent. I do not. The Father does not knowledge. I, no, no, no. He does not possess it propositionally. <laughs> what does that mean? Explain that. So he does not possess does, knowledge. Do you understand what that means? No, I don't understand. Do you understand what that okay. means? Do you okay. What that means? So personal gratuity, I don't care. Okay, so, what does that mean? Okay. So propositions are statements. So God does not, and I'm dumbing this down, God does not press, like, possess knowledge in statements. So the father is pleased with the son, or the father loves the son, he does not possess that propositionally. Rather, this knowledge is indexed to the one mind of the Trinity. So this is indexed to the one mind that the three persons possess. So I have now answered your question. You can, after my time is finished, you can say, I don't understand. Hold on, Lamin. You wanted me to have this discussion, go on, go on. so don't interrupt me. So, hold on, hold on. So, I am now going to bring you scripture, talking about Christ's mind, thus meaning Christ is divine. John 5, 19, I do nothing of my own accord, rather I do everything that the Father does. Now, can any created being do everything that God does? Okay. So, here's a, the here's a context. Jesus says, I can do nothing of myself. Now, let me ask you something. Does that, does that sound like the words of the Almighty God? Wait, wait, but what does he yeah, say? Because, wait, second brother, yeah. let's pass it by, slowly by slowly. Okay. It so, says, so, I can do nothing of myself. Yeah. Does that sound like the words of the Most High God? So, and by the way... That means to me that he's weird. Okay, so What's listen, that, ladies and gentlemen, now he's speaking to the audience. The Unitarians are in bed with the Muslims, even though he would condemn their prophet. Okay? So very, very simple, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, he he hates your prophet. I wouldn't speak about like that at each other. Okay, so right? Do you understand what he said? Yes. So I do nothing of my own accord, and you're saying that's a disqualifier. Yeah, listen, listen, listen. Lamin, Lamin, Lamin. So yes. Okay, I'm not jumping. I'm not jumping. I'm not jumping, and you're not in control of this conversation. So very simply. If you take the, so there's two issues here. So we said mind is indexed to nature. The person of Christ in the proposed Trinitarian paradigm possesses two natures, which means in his humanity, in his human mind, he appeals to the divine will, right? He appeals to the divine will. So he says, I do nothing of my own accord, rather I do everything I see the Father doing. Now, can you do everything that the Father does? Can a created being do everything that the Father does? You're quoting it out of context. The question to you is, Bro, I'm not. He doesn't say I can do everything. Now you're lying. No, I'm not. Let's bring the passage up. He can do everything. Bring the passage up. Someone bring up. Don't worry. So which one is it? John 5, 19. One second, one second, one second, one second, one second. Now you said minds are indexed to the nature. To That's nature, you, yes. Okay. So you're saying, one second, you're saying Jesus had two minds? Yes. It's over, it's over. <laughs> I told you, it. I had a debate guy, with bipolar. You're, you're you. blaspheming Jesus. Thank you, I had a debate you're with Jesus. You're blaspheming, you're blaspheming. I'll be here. Jesus has two minds. Can you say that Jesus has two minds? Jesus has two minds. Jesus has two minds. I'll be waiting. Here's a blasphemy. I'm going to wait. Group audience. You Jesus talk these all these bombastic words. Lamin, Lamin, I want you to. Uh, Lamin, I want you. Lamin, Lamin, I want you to ask him what he thinks about your prophet. I want Lamin, I want Lamin, I want you to ask him what he thinks about your prophet. Show me in the scripture where Jesus said he has two minds. Beautiful. So, is Nate is mind indexed to nature? <laughs> this is your <laughs> index. What does that mean? It means it's predicated of the nature. Right. Who made that term? Up? Yeah. So it is basic understanding of so the. the hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Listen, bro. Listen, I've got three people speaking at me. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen. Not because you don't understand something that's not. You don't understand it. Lamin, Lamin. Lamin, you're in bed with a Unitarian. Would you This is pagan philosophy. Say This is not biblical philosophy. You're not biblical. You're not a Christian. I condemn you. You're anathema. Who cares you condemn? But, brother. Oh, is it? The 12 Show me where it says Jesus has two minds. Show me the passage. So, if we understand, one second. Jesus said he has two buddy, minds. Buddy, 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 say this to him. He's a Christian. So, 
So, Where did it say beautiful, said beautiful. Months, so if you understand basic moderate realism, that a subject <laughs> substantiates a nature. Metaphysics, brother, brother. Philosophy. Yeah, yeah. That your Allah cannot comprehend. Gymnastics. Listen, bro. You you requested this. Much learning is driving you mad. Seriously. Or maybe you're the simple. Bro, the thing is, you need. You know what? You know what? I'm saying. You know what the Bible says? It says the simple. People, people understood Jesus. Yes. They heard him gladly. They were, the they farmers. Were yes. The fishermen. Are you debating now? Wait, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Because those followers of Christ they would not be an apologetic. They Listen, him. right? I don't need. To, that's just post from gratuity. So, right? I, I'll just say this. The followers of Christ are not engaging in the caliber of apologetics to which we're doing now. Oh, so you must Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you two would just laugh. He told, he told his disciples to go make disciples of all nations. These were, these were fishermen. These were uh, tax Wait, collectors. are you what saying? Happened, yes. And you're telling me they, their apologetics were similar to yours? No, I'm not. I, I'm saying, in fact, that mine is more philosophically gauged than the ones that initially were. Because you understand, you understand, right? There, there's a distinction, right? Preaching can either do done for rationale or appealing to emotion, right? Christ's message actually like rippled throughout society because it's a it's an emotional story of Christ dying for our sins. Okay, like your prophet's message, right? Say that again, and I'll say more things. Now, listen. Also, by the way, ask him what he says about your prophet, buddy. Buddy, ask him what he thinks about your prophet. Ask him what he says about your prophet. Ask him what he says about your prophet. Ask him what he says about your prophet. Lamin, I want you. Lamin, simple. Ask him what he says about your prophet. Lamin, 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 Lamin. The seal of the prophets. What do you think about Muhammad? What do you think about Muhammad? I don't believe he's a prophet. Oh, right. So you disagree with him even though you're in bed with him? No, no, no. He says he doesn't believe he's a prophet. It's a separate argument for a different day. Yeah, yeah. But today, that argument, you are a Trinitarian, he's a Unitarian. Okay. So, so is he associating? There were many Christians who came in the Islamic court who were debating Muslims who didn't believe. Oh yeah, but by the way, do you know what Ibn Taymiyyah's followers literally got caught lying? He's, there, there is actually a biography by Ibn Taymiyyah to which he says the methodology of his debates was to distort the position of his opposition. Your Christianity is so bankrupt that there were people in Christians who actually debated Christians Bye bye. Who actually dismissed the legitimacy of the prophet. Jesus is God because he doesn't believe Muhammad is a prophet. Is that your argument? No, that's not the dichotomy I'm positive. Rather, I'm saying you're in bed with each other even though you disagree. I'm not in bed with him. Yes, you are. Brother, you're backing him up like you're here. Poor C, man. We're trying to reason with you. There's a difference between saying Jesus is not a prophet and we disagree with that. Moses is not a prophet. Listen, listen, right? So, I don't... Listen, right? Okay, so listen. If you don't like philosophical discussions, don't request to have a discussion with me. We're all doing philosophy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I can use philosophy. Oh, by the way, they don't agree with that either. You can't do philosophy against your Allah. From the Bible. It cannot come something that you've... So, what, so where does mind derive from? Mind derives, as I know it, comes from the person. Well, okay, no. Not from a nature. Wait, so... From a person. Okay, so... He's a person. Do you have a squirrel brain? That means he has a mind. One second. Do you have a squirrel mind? A what? Do you have a squirrel mind or a human mind? Okay, beautiful. So you've identified that the mind is substantiated in his humanity because if that's not the case, there's a possibility that a human person possesses a squirrel mind. Once we've once we've assured that point, we then know that according to Corinthians chapter two verse six to three. Six to eight, Christ possesses a human nature and a divine nature, which means. Where did I get that from? Where did I get that from? Yes, he did. Let me engage with that point. You're saying Jesus had two natures. So you believe Jesus was omnipresent and restricted at the same time? So, no, rather. So, a logical contradiction would entail a P and not P in the same relation at the same time. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You said something. Let me respond. 
So he and not P in the same relation in the same time. Okay. So he has two distinct natures. Natures are designed as witnesses. So the person of Christ acts according to the two natures. No, it's not. Okay. You're being dogmatic. It's a dogma. Let me explain why. Wait, wait, hold on. You can't have brother. I don't think you. No, yes, you can. You can have. Hold on, hold on. It's a relative contradiction. You listen, listen. Let me explain. Let me explain why that's logically incoherent. Yes. Maybe after you. It's the human nature in the same respect to the divine. Do you, do you believe in the immutability of God? Yes. You believe. Okay. So when uh, in First Kings eight, Solomon says, "The heavens and heavens cannot contain you. How much more this temple?" Okay. So we understand God is omnipresent. Yes. It's one of his natures. Which they disagree with, one by second. the way. One second, one second. That's no, irrelevant. No, just saying, just saying. Eight, 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 yeah, yeah, eight. First book of Kings, eight, 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 eight. Here's the point. Now you're saying Jesus was restricted in a body. Yes. So you're saying he was omnipresent and uh, restricted loca locationally at the same point. Yes. At the same time. Oh, yes. So he was omnipresent. Yes. In a different and respect. Hold on. The is same the time. divine? Is okay, the divine? Okay. Let, let me ask. Okay. So he was. Um, he grew in wisdom, and he was all wise at the same time. Yeah. According to yes. So can I respond? Growing wisdom. Yeah. You can grow in wisdom and be all okay. wise at the same so time. So I said. Look at. Can, can you hear what? Look yes. Saying? So beautiful, look, ladies and gentlemen. He he said right, ladies and gentlemen. If he appeals to the audience, I appeal to the cameraman. So notice. The unholy lights. Okay. Are you psychic? Are you his psychic? Bo! No, 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 no. Are you his psychic? No, 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 no. Okay, so let me respond. If you want a discussion, let me respond. So, we do not say that the divine nature is the human nature. They're distinct. The person of Christ acts in accordance to the two natures. Natures are defined as whatnesses, sets of predicates. The person of Christ acts in according to the nature. Therefore, it's not a P and not P in the same relation. Listen, oh wait, buddy, 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 I would not be with Muslims. I'm not, I'm not. Yes, you are, bro. You, you are. Don't be intellectually dishonest. You are. You are. You would not. Jesus would not like Muhammad. No, I don't believe Muhammad. Do you, do you believe Muhammad is a moral individual? You're asking me questions. I debate these guys. So that's not so relevant. Okay. Jesus now is in heaven, according to you. Yeah. Bodily assumed. Jesus, is he God in heaven? Yeah, so he's bodily assumed, right? So yes, he's fully God. He's fully God. Yeah. 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 How many gods are in heaven? <laughs> there is one being of God in three persons. Okay. Uh, so can can, can right God have a God? No. Yeah. So when you say God, right? Can God have a God? Yeah. Yeah. So let me speak. So when you say when you say the word God, right? You're obviously outlining the persons, right? Okay. So the person of Christ, for example, holds the person of the Spirit or the person of the Father as fully divine, which would answer your question. Okay. Yes. So in heaven, in heaven, you know, in the book of uh, Revelation, Jesus made it clear that he had a God. Can God have a God? No. Uh, yes. Can, sorry. God, yes. God can have a God. Yes. But what, what is what is? Hold on. Hold on. Well, Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alamin. God can have a God. Are we gonna go? Brother, these exactly. guys must be humiliated. Oh, wait. 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 No, no, no. What is God can have a God? Revelation 12 14, bitch. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, might I propose we do a roundup over there? Yeah, I'm gonna just sit there. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have just seen the unholy alliance of the blaspheming Christians, the unchristians, the Unitarians, and the Muslims. It is the most painful thing. If that guy had his way, it would be the end of us. So, I think the debate explains for itself. He loves Lamin, and Lamin loves him. They only disagree on one thing, that's prophethood of Muhammad. But if they start talking about that, they'd blaspheme each other. So, ladies and gentlemen, I bid you good night. God bless you. I am very tired. I want you to go to sleep.